Who is the best sledger in your team? Uh, I'd probably have to say Gamo. Uh, I'll leap a hockey. Biggest sledger, we James Briggs in from before, definitely. That's why I'm going to stick him up, so. Oh, jeez, uh, it has to be Corpy. He's always got a bit to say, those private school boys. They're, uh, they're pretty polite about it as well. Uh, biggest sledger, probably Nick Corp. Uh, yeah, it's brutal calls, very brutal calls. Leap, I hope. <laughs> Get your game face on. What is your coach's favourite saying? Uh, tick the boxes. Yeah, tick all the boxes. Uh, control what you can, can, can control, I think. Doesn't say a lot. Lit AF. Which teammate is most likely to be invited to the coach's house for dinner? Uh, probably have to say Danny Stevenson. Uh, I'll probably look Tap Scott. He's a favourite child. Definitely not me. Um, I'll probably say Danny Stevenson. Oh, jeez, that's to be James Hallahan. Absolutely, lives in his pocket. Anything Troy wants, James will be first one of there and give it to him on a platter. Uh, Daniel Grant, he just, uh, pet. Uh, Hallers, for sure. Which player does your coach spray the most Brian Lake style? Uh, probably Nat DeConza. He's copped a couple of them. Be Nick Corp. He, uh, if he gets any sort of negative criticism, he uh, he drops his head and he won't turn up for three weeks. Definitely me. Yeah, yeah. I won't say it on camera. Um, no, nah, he knows. On your lid. Well, he reckons he's not uh, he's not spraying anymore. He reckons he's calmed down a bit and he's going to mature. But uh, he's renowned to give Zachy Burns a real good spray for a new number of years. Uh, Lee Pahogi, I'd say probably. For being fat? Uh, probably Poe Hulk. Yeah. Blondes or brunettes? I wouldn't mind both. <laughs> <laughs> My wife's a blonde, so I better say blondes. I've got to say brunette. Your missus is a brunette. <laughs> missus is a blonde, so blondes. Uh, blondes, probably. <laughs> better say blondes. <laughs> what are you scared of? Great question. Probably losing a premiership. My wife. He misses. Um, heights, yeah, scared of heights and drowning. Uh, that number one from Somerville, yeah, he's, he's scary. Snakes, scare the shit out of me. <laughs> Who's most likely to have an injury on Tuesday night for training but good to play on Saturday? <laughs> Probably Nacho Conza. Uh, Tyrant Head, he's uh, good with the phantom injury. Um, I have to say, probably Lee Polgi. Well, about to be Dawes here, but we don't see him on a Tuesday. He, or a Thursday, he's sort of in and out, and you know, never trains, then rocks up game day and kicks five, and you know, he's pretty happy with himself. Lee Polgi's done that the last three Tuesdays, so I'd say him. Um, Lee Pohog. Who's your most annoying teammate, and why? Probably just tearing head, just because he's a bit weird. Paholke, because he thinks he's good at sledging and he's not. Um, James Brigden, can't stitch him up, so hopefully he gets him. Dorsey, because um, he's better than me. Uh, Jay Blair, just you look at him and you just think, why are you playing footy, mate? Um, yeah, probably Lee Pohol, because he calls me Chunk and he played at 95 kilos last year. Which player in your team would win a 50 metre sprint? Uh, probably me if my hamstrings are right. Uh, probably Dan Hickey. Me if my ankles are right. <laughs> me. Ben McCormack. Uh, Dan Hickey. Which player in your team would be the best in the boxing ring? Uh, probably one of the Git boys. I'd give it a crack though. Uh, Jazzy McCleary. Reckons he can handle himself in the boxing ring because he looks tough, but Lee Treby's the toughest. Thank you, boys, definitely. Best in the box, it has to be Corpy. Yeah, can seriously blue. Especially, he's got a nice straight set of teeth too. Well, maybe Bailey Holt, because he's been in every street fight there is in Sprinter. Trebes. Who has eyes only for the goals? Oh, it'd have to be Lee Pahulky, for sure. Oh, my guts. Oh, Paholke. Ah, uh, Zach Burns. Oh, you could throw a uh, throw a blanket over Corpy, Dorsey and I there. And Hallis. If Hallis is inside 80, he's, uh, he's tunnel vision. Yeah, him and Tap Scott. Oh, 
Uh, James Hallahan, never pass off. Lee Pohog. <laughs> Who's the hardest working and the laziest on the track? Probably have to say Mazza. Who's the laziest on the track? Probably Lee Baholke. Uh, be Lee Treby or Daniel Grant. Laziest on the track? Lee Paholke. Trev Maddow with his parachute. Laziest? <laughs> Lee. Daniel Grant, without doubt, always cutting corners. Hardest working on the track? Oh, geez, Aaron Paxton. Loves lumbering that, uh, that big frame of his around. Uh, in all seriousness, probably Lee Treby. And uh, Laziest? Lee Paholke. Um, hardest working? Probably Tappy sets the example. Um, laziest? I don't know. Probably Pohulk again. Yeah. Which teammate loves the mirror? <laughs> I'll probably say Lee Paholke. Uh, James Hallahan. Um, probably Chad. James. Gamo. There's a couple. <laughs> oh, jeez, how long you got? Jeez, Muzz, Corpy, Dorsey, Hallers, Taffy, Gomo. Gomo loves trying to get his uh, silver hair nice and black. Nick Corp. James Hallahan tries to love the mirror, but got not much going for him, so. Oh, Hallers. And Gomo, actually. Gomo loves a bit of hair, dude. Pick three guests to attend a fantasy dinner party. Yeah, wouldn't mind Charlie Sheen a couple of models. That'd be alright. So, there you go. Probably LeBron James. Barack Obama and Nick Corp. <laughs> Mum, Dane Swan and LeBron. I would have Donald Trump, Roger Federer and Grant Hackett. I reckon that'd be one hell of a conversation. I don't know how well this will go down, but Ben Cousins, love him. Uh, Billy Slater and Mick Fanning, probably. Luke Hodge. Margot Robbie and Ricky Ponting. Give us your best get your game face on. Get your game face on. Get your game face on. Get your game face on, boys. Get your game face on. Get your game face on.